This is my Raspberry Pi mining cluster, and today I'm saying goodbye to it. I've been mining on Raspberry Pis since 2017. Back then, I uh, had some uh, Raspberry Pi 3Bs, which I actually ended up rack mounting in a 1U chassis. And back then, uh, it was Magicoin was the big coin that you can mine with ARM processors. And I had a real nice array of Raspberry Pis. Over the years, those have evolved. And this is the latest cluster that I've been mining with. This specific cluster has been in place since probably 2020, I would say. And this consists of two 8 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4s and also uh, six 4 gigabyte models. They're all the early models. Um, and then this is a uh, enclosure that I forget who makes this. I think you can get this on either Amazon. Yeah, I think it's on Amazon. And it's essentially made to put a PoE switch in here. Or you can put an 8 port PoE switch. You power all these over PoE and uh, without needing, um, you know, PoE hats and everything. You could just do it. Um, off of the switch because you can see the hats wouldn't, they might barely fit, but for me, I ran Wi-Fi on these, uh, USB-C power, everything worked great. I never really put the network switch down in here, but this is essentially what it looks like. It has four fans in it, uh, it runs pretty quiet, and if we pop these out, they're kind of like a blade type structure, so they just snap in. And what I did is I just ran these with heat sinks on them. And here you can see these are the early model Raspberry Pi 4s from 2018. Um, these have worked really well for me. Uh, like I said, started off with um, Monero Magicoin back in the day. Uh, that was back when uh, Monero was on Kryptonite. They've since moved to RandomX. You can definitely mine RandomX with this. I have Merge Mined. Bible Pay and Monero on these. I've also done a lot of, in the recent years, uh, a lot of mining to Zergpool and auto exchanging. Uh, over the past several months, I would say over the past six months or so, I have been mining Yescript R16 with these. So like Quoj, um, those types of coins, and auto exchanging for Flux. And I've been getting, on average, two payouts a week from Zergpool with these. So it has been um, pretty good for me over the years. Now, back with Magicoin, I was making quite a bit off of these, uh, especially being able to mine and stake Magi. Uh, it was very profitable. I believe Noblecoin is using the same algo that Magi used, the M7M algo. So these can still be used uh, for Noblecoin. Uh, you can still mine Magi. I'm not sure if it's listed on any exchanges anymore. Uh, it's pretty much a dead project. But Noblecoin has kind of taken its place on the M7M side. Uh, not that profitable, but very easy to mine with these. But what I did is I wanted to upgrade my home lab. So back in 2017, I had a really nice home lab set up at a, I think I had a 42U rack. I had, uh, this was actually back when Ravencoin was initially launched. I had a couple desktop PCs that I converted into 2U and 4U servers. And I was actually mining uh, the original Ravencoin chain back then, which was X16R using the integrated GPU on those CPUs. So mining with uh, one of the machines was a Phenom 2X3. So if you're unfamiliar with that, that was AMD's tri-core processor. So it had three cores on it. And that was a really big deal back in the day that did really good on Monero. And so uh, that's just one of the, or not on Monero, but on Ravencoin. 
that's just one of the examples of kind of that home lab setup that I was doing. But now what I want to do is I want to build three one use storage servers. So I want one for my Flux Cumulus node uh, with around 100 terabytes of storage running on Titan network. I want to create an SC Prime server. I want to create a storage server. And then I also want to take some of my desktops that I have. I actually have two uh, Socket 1200 desktops and two Socket AM4 desktops. I want to convert those into server chassis as well and kind of get back to those roots of having rack mounted essentially a desktop, a rack mounted desktop running a couple GPUs in them, nothing extravagant, uh, but running a nice CPU, having some nice mining machines that are rack mounted, but can also be leveraged for other purposes if I see fit. And that's kind of what I'm getting back to. Uh, these, when I bought all of these, they were around $55, right? They were kind of that retail price and price has skyrocketed. All of these actually sold on eBay this morning and I'm getting around, um, after all the fees, I'm still getting over $800 for the eight. So very happy with that. Essentially, I've mined with these for all the years and still sold them for double what I paid for them. And, but more importantly, I'm going to be able to upgrade to some nice one u Xeon processor servers and start to build out that home lab. So you might be seeing some content on the channel uh, more geared towards the home lab side of things. While we're kind of in the down market, I really want to get that built up. I've already got, um, I've got a 25U server rack this time. So getting a little bit smaller, but I already have that. Or I've got the networking switch in. Um, I've got the flux node up and running. It's just not mounted on the rails yet. And then next up, I'm hoping to use the funds from this sale and pick up a couple more to start building out uh, a storage node, a SC Prime node. Uh, really, those are providers, not necessarily nodes. And um, also, I'd like to transition. I have a home media server that's in an Asuster NAS. I'd like to transition that to a 1U rack as well. So that's kind of where the funds from this are going to go. They're going to go over to that. Still going to have some mining hardware on those. Uh, we'll be able to, as an example, that Flux node is actually going to have, I believe that's going to have 12 cores, 24 threads. We only need to designate eight, uh, actually four threads, I believe, to Flux. It's either four or eight threads, I forget. We only need to designate those to flux, so the others we're actually going to be mining on in the background. And then same thing with the with the storage and the SC Prime side. Those realistically will probably allocate like three threads each to those services, and then the rest will be mining. And those hash rates will far exceed what we were getting on these. So definitely going to be a nice upgrade. Just kind of wanted to show you guys. I know there's not a lot of people mining with Raspberry Pis, and I actually don't know too many people that have Raspberry Pi clusters uh, set up in this way, right? It's not necessarily a cluster in a sense that they're all connected together, uh, but it is a cluster chassis that kind of gives you that ability to um, kind of mount them together, have everything together, and it's a simple um, it's micro SD card image that I've built uh, that all of them run the same image. And that's it for this video. Just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, kind of what the plans are um, that I'm getting rid of the Raspberry Pi cluster. And we're going to be replacing it with some 1U servers. So really excited.